So we are going to talk about productivity and how much artwork do we create every week in order to be able to survive. Don't do it. Don't, don't do productivity. Tips for artists because I love you. Hola, you amazing artist. So today we're going to talk about productivity because I got a question from John Groning. Hello, Rafi. I was wondering if you could do a video on productivity to survive. I am wondering how many works do you complete per week or month or however you want to put it. And I was also wondering what your inventory looks like when you go to a farmer's market. That's, that's a personal question, John. I'm not It's not really that personal. No, it's not. Really. I'm just I'm just kidding. So my disclaimer in this video is that my rules do not apply to everybody. So you need to figure out what it is that you want to make every year in order to be able to do the math in order to figure out how much work you have to create. I want to make a living as an artist, but then when you calculate how much artwork they actually create and have for sale, it's not enough to be able to support somebody. You need to figure out how much you want to make every year. So if you already have a job and let's say that you're making an average of $35,000 a year. Let's bust out the calculator, shall we? We shall. Okay, so how many monies do we want to make per year? 35000 How many weeks are we working per year? It's 52 weeks a year. Let's just figure out the whole year. That you would need to produce $673 worth of art per week. So $673 worth of art per week. And let's say four weeks. 2,692 monies. Okay, $2,692 every month. When you figure out four weeks in a 52-week average, what it gives you is an additional month. So you end up with 13 months for the year. So I give myself an average there. It's 2,600, so just break it even into $3,000 a month worth of art. How am I going to figure out cool and fun creative ways to be able to not only create this art, but to be able to market this art out into the world. You have to think about those things if you're planning on making a living off of this because that's all part of it. You also have to keep in mind that when you're first starting out as an artist, your prices are going to be lower than what they will be in a year or in two years or in three years. So John, you have a job that yes, you said that you hated it. You have an income that comes into you yearly. You have a number that you could work with as far as being comfortable. What you're going to want to do is get started on your art career and see if you can match those numbers. And once you match or surpass those numbers, then you know that you can make a living with your art. The problem is that a lot of artists that are starting out are like, I want to make a million dollars a year doing my art. Hey, you could be like, bam. One million strong. Get it. Buy it. Have it. Get it. Get it. Buy it. You could have it on your Twitter. Right, right. Because you say that on Twitter and then it'll happen. All the people. Yeah, all the people. All the people start waving their millions. How can you possibly wave a million wave your in the air? millions in the air? Oh, God. So for the most part, I give myself, I think it's a goal of like $1,600 worth of pieces a week because I like pushing the envelope. I like challenging myself. And it doesn't mean that I always meet or exceed that goal, but it also doesn't mean that there aren't times where I definitely meet or definitely exceed that goal. Sometimes it's creating several large pieces with a few small pieces. Sometimes it's just creating one giant piece. Sometimes it's creating a bunch of small pieces. There are some times where it might take me a month to finish a piece and that piece will be sitting in a studio and I'll be working on that while I'm working on other pieces as well because there's always drying time or there's always like I have no idea what to do with this thing I walk away and I work on something else or I, I usually have several projects going on at once because I don't have the patience to wait for something to dry. So you have bonus items. What do you mean I have bonus items? Like the pieces that you don't count in your weekly production, like the prints and stuff. Right, right. I mean, I, you know, like I, I create my own prints and those are extra pieces that I actually don't count in my weekly production. My weekly production is just originals. That's another challenge that I give to myself. And I don't want you guys to over challenge yourselves. I don't have bonus items. I just have jewelries. Well, yeah, but you have jewelries that could sell from anywhere between $1,500 to $1,000. Like they diamonds. <laughs> yes. And gold. Gold. Good job. 
your own liquid gold. <laughs> That being said, that's not the only thing that I do in the studio. And if you guys want to hear more about my daily thing that I do, you could leave that in the comment section below. I also do my online store and my website. I work on videos. I have blogs. I have social media marketing. There are business tasks, marketing projects, and artistically creative things. And then I have typical commissions that I work on as well on top of the artwork that I'm working on. Challenge yourself to not only create the work, but to also show the work, to get the work out in front of people, and not just online, like like in front of people where they can touch it and feel it and smell it and taste it. What do you mean? You, you're calling my paintings gross? I don't want to taste them. Yeah, I guess not. It's kind of like you, like your pieces of jewelry aren't finished until you sneeze on them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give yourself a realistic goal at the same time be a little aggressive with your goal at the same time take a look and see how much it is that you need in order to be able to pay your bills but still challenge yourself enough that you're going to push yourself outside of your comfort zone so don't challenge yourself too much but don't not challenge yourself is what I'm saying when I'm talking about uh, getting your work out there, obviously you mentioned the farmer's market and it's one of the things that we do. We have a high-end farmer's market here in Pensacola. Now, as far as how much do we take out there, we basically took as much as we could cram into our vehicle. Now, don't forget, you need a canopy and you need your walls and you need stuff, but basically everything else should be your stuff that you could show out there because the more stuff that you're able to show that's across all the price points, the better that you'll do at those kind of markets. Yeah, you have paintings ranging from my paintings to my paintings. My paintings. As far as price goes. Uh -huh. My jewelries. <laughs> my jewelries. You will pay for my jewelries. It's such a my jewelries. They're beautiful. <laughs> do you know what was highly productive today? What was highly productive? Highly productive. The pollen. Yeah, John, Clee did the Clee did the market today. So. I was at the market. Yeah. And I have to say, it was a productive day for me. But the pollen, the pollen won. The, po product. the pollen market. It was still a good day out there. Everybody just got some pollen to take home with them in their shopping bags. Yeah, pollen. And in their faces. Here's a few pictures of our setup at the market so you can see that they are totally flexible and different. I bring out inventory depending on how much I have and how much I'm able to bring out. And Clee pretty much has, you know, her, her setup as well. I bring out pretty much what I can cram onto two six foot tables and still look real nice. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. Thank you, John, for the question. Hopefully I kind of sort of answered it. Give me some feedback. And also if you guys have any questions about art or life or anything else, just leave them in the comment section below. You may not like my answer, but you know, that's the beauty of opinions. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are absolutely freaking awesome. I totally adore you. And if you like this and you want to watch more like this, just click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. Say goodbye, Clee. Good day. Adios. Get to work. The video's over. Get to work. Get to work. <laughs>